Veterans Day is coming up and uh, got me to thinking about a, a number of things. Uh, I was drafted in 1967 and uh, went through training and uh, NCO school and ended up in Vietnam as a sergeant and infantry squad leader. And while I was there, uh, I did get to see a, a local guy uh, get killed. And I've had a letter about this for, you know, since that that fateful day. Uh, I sent it home, sent the letter home, and uh, I've been thinking about that letter a lot, and the older I get, the more important that letter seems to be, and I finally brought it to somebody else's attention, and uh, it seems to be uh, of interest to a number of people, uh, because it was written shortly after the incident, so it was not, there's no gloss of, uh, of a memoir, and no, no shading of the facts. Uh, he died uh, with a bang and a puff of smoke, and uh, and that was the end of him. Uh, but I've read this letter to uh, school groups a number of times over the years, and uh, I've always been it's always been sort of matter of fact to me. But uh, last year I read this, and uh, and I got a little weepy, and uh, that was my way of telling myself that uh, maybe it's time to do something about it. In the letter, uh, up until the point of this fatality, uh, we never really saw the war. Uh, we heard about it, we knew that people were getting hurt and killed, but nobody we knew and nobody around us was ever ever injured or, or killed or anything. And uh, this, uh, this death brought it all, all home to us and uh, we were bummed out for a long time. <laughs>